Hey y'all, um, feeling pretty sick today. <laughs> Every one of my family is sick today. It's ridiculous. But the wife and kids still went about their uh, daily things. Kids went to school, wife went to work teaching at that school. So I'm here doing my research, writing another article, um, getting the word out. I want to talk about GQ naming Colin Kaepernick their Citizen of the Year. Has anyone seen this yet? It's been all over the place. People are talking about it. There's a lot of controversy surrounding it. Of course, because there's a lot of controversy surrounding Colin Kaepernick. Now, I'm not a fan of Colin Kaepernick. He was a middling starter at best. Not a particularly great player. But then he went ahead and brought his politics to work, which you're not supposed to do. You don't bring your politics to work. Leave home at home, leave work at work. You know? You'll get fired. You, watching this video, you'll get fired from your job if you bring your politics to work the way Colin Kaepernick did. But he still did it, and he expected to be coddled and treated like a little baby despite having these public tantrums at his place of work, which the NFL is. The, the football stadium is his office, you know? The, the football uniform is his suit and tie. He's supposed to be a professional. He's not supposed to go grandstanding and trying to push a narrative. He does that on his own time, just like the rest of us. That being said, GQ magazine has named Colin Kaepernick their Citizen of the Year. I found this very odd. GQ magazine hasn't really been in the news. They're not a very relevant magazine these days. And it's true. I mean, their sales are declining. Nobody really talks about them. So this is what they've got. They've got Colin Kaepernick, master of controversy, and they're going to parade him around like an Al Jolson-esque minstrel show. I just find it a little disconcerting that nobody's calling out the uh, inherent racism in this while they will call out the racism in just about everything else that exists, including children's Halloween costumes. If you Google the key executives at GQ, and then go to images, you're going to find a lot of pictures of a lot of white people. But in no picture, not even the group photos with people walking around in the background, will you see a single black person. That seems odd. That seems very weird. Have you ever been in a room packed with people and not seen one person that wasn't white? Because I have. I googled GQ's executives, each one by one, and that's what I found. Rooms full of white people. And now they're parading around this black person, this hero to the community. And it is just as I described it. It is an Al Jolson-esque minstrel show. In fact, um, the article that I wrote about it on HoneYourLife.com features an image that I edited myself very badly, I'm still not good at it, of Colin Kaepernick as a minstrel. It's cute. It's fun. I left the afro there. I didn't put a little tiny bowler hat on there. Um, all I want to say is, people, look out for the disingenuous. Don't believe the hype. When people are virtue signaling, what they're actually doing is projecting. People that talk about racism all the time, it's because they are racists and they just want the attention off themselves. Keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and just watch out. This is Mickey M with Hone Your Life. Please subscribe. I would love to see my subscriber count go up. That would help me a lot. It would help me get better production. Look at this place. 
It's a mess. I still haven't cleaned up from the weekend. Whatever. You might be able to help me hire a maid. A black one that I would dress up like a minstrel. No, I wouldn't. I'd take whoever came to deal with this crap because they would be a hero to me. In the meantime, don't believe all the crap the people are telling you. And uh, stay safe out there. Goodbye.